In late November 1863, Union General George Meade attempted to march through the wilderness of Spotsylvania and strike the right flank of the Confederate Army south of the Rapidan River. General Meade had intelligence reports that Robert E. Lee's army was half the size of Meade's Army of the Potomac, which actually Lee had 48,000 to Meade's 81,000, and Lee's army was split in two, separated by Clark's Mountain with the two flanks anchored at Mine Run and Liberty Mills, which are over 30 miles apart. His plan was to cross the Rapidan at points beyond Major General Jib Stewart's cavalry screen, overwhelm the right flank, and then follow up with the remainder. Meade wanted to quickly strike and destroy the Confederate Army. The Army marched on November 25th and got off to a pretty good start, aided by fog on Clark's Mountain, which screened his movements from Confederate lookouts. However, Major General William H. French's Third Corps got bogged down in fording the river at Jacobs Ford, causing traffic jams when they moved their artillery to Germana Ford when other units were attempting to cross. Due to French's slow movements, Confederate General Robert E. Lee was able to react to Meade's movements. Lee ordered Major General Jubal Early, in temporary command of Ewell's II Corps, to march east on the Orange Turnpike to meet French's advance near Payne's Farm. Brigadier General Joseph B. Carr's division of French Corps attacked twice. Major General Edward Johnson's division counterattacked but was scattered by heavy fire and broken terrain. After dark, Lee withdrew to prepare field fortifications along Mine Run. The next day, the Union Army closed on the Confederate position, and Meade planned a heavy artillery bombardment followed by Major General Gouverneur K. Warren's 2nd Corps attack in the south, then Major General John Sedgwick's 6th Corps in the north an hour later. Lee planned an assault for December 2nd that would have exploited the dangling left flank of the Union line, discovered the previous day by Major General Wade Hampton's cavalry. Although the Union bombardment began on schedule, the major attack never materialized. Meade concluded that the Confederate line was too strong to attack and retreated during the night of December 1st to 2nd, ending the campaign. The Union Army suffered 1,272 casualties, while the Confederate Army suffered around 680 casualties, but the campaign and battle was still labeled inconclusive. The Mine Run Campaign was Meade's last and failed attempt in 1863 to destroy Lee's army in Northern Virginia before winter halted military operations. The following year, Ulysses S. Grant would take control of the Union Army. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote the 1863 poem, Christmas Bells, which later became the carol, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, in response to the learning of his son Charles Appleton Longfellow being severely wounded in the battle. <laughs> 